I really decided to wear a long sleeve and I have like these lights. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna... Hello beautiful people, it's Allison and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and like... Wait, what? Subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't ever miss out on any videos. Okay. Do you like my outfit today? I actually look put together today. I put some earrings on. These earrings like have like little butterflies on them. They look cute. I did my makeup. I did my curly hair routine. I haven't been gotten like ready for like a normal day where I'm not gonna do anything but film. But it's fine. So for today's video, we're gonna do a girl talk. I did this little like girl talk with my sister talking about some of these topics and so i decided to do another one but for this video i'm not going to be answering specific questions i'm just going to give you guys some advice that has helped me overcome my insecurities build up that confidence self-love and so i'm just gonna tell you guys from like my perspective and like what has helped me and like my struggles and how i got out of that stuff i've been wanting to do a video like this for such a long why do i feel like i'm your therapist it's fine. I've been wanting to do a video like this for such a long time, but I didn't feel qualified. I don't know. I didn't feel like I didn't have the amount of confidence that I wanted to like give advice on confidence. You shouldn't have to be fully confident um, in order to give advice about confidence. I don't think that should matter. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and get your snacks, get your popcorn, sit back, and we're just going to have like a little girl talk, little girl chat. Yeah. Okay, and if you guys see me looking down, it's because I wrote some notes down so I don't forget what I'm going to say. So I always get like com uh, comments about how um, happy I am all the time and like people always come up to me and ask me like, Allison, how are you so happy? Like I've never seen you mad. I've never seen you um, get angry at anyone. Girl, that's because you're not with me all the time. You got to ask my family. <laughs> I also get like some questions about like, how I'm so confident. Some of those questions I were asked when I was at my lowest and I got so surprised because I was like, I mean, it's not fake, but I also don't like showing that I'm sad at that moment, like showing like any of those, those type of weaknesses because I don't want people to pity me or I don't want to put people down because of what I'm feeling. So I like hide those things, but everyone is always like struggling with something. And so that's why it's really important to be kind to everyone. So first we're gonna be talking about insecurities. Everyone has insecurities. There's not one person in this world that I've met that doesn't have an insecurity or at least one. Some causes of insecurity can be your own family label standards our society nowadays um, social media the internet our friendships and our relationships that we have in our lives I do say family because family in my experience not that they do it on purpose but they have caused me to feel insecure about myself in certain times but my parents have always looked out for me and the things that I eat and how much I exercise and they like to make sure that I'm healthy but ever since I was little they've done that they've been like if I like try to eat a cookie or something I mean maybe not every time but most of the time they'll be like oh my gosh like Allison be careful with what you eat I make sure you're not eating that all the time and so in my head when I was younger I would think oh maybe they're saying that because maybe I'm gaining weight or maybe I'm fat but I wouldn't say that out loud I would just be like oh, okay so I would just keep that all in and be like okay maybe I should eat less of that stuff or just eat less in general so um I would put myself down just because they would try to look out for me in that way but I wouldn't tell them what I was struggling with when they would say those things so ever since I was little I was always fit I was in soccer um, like all my life until I graduated high school I was always active and really fit but um what I would eat wouldn't be the right things I wouldn't really pay attention to what I was eating and so looking back at those pictures I look super skinny and I look fit in that moment I would look at myself in the mirror and I would feel like not good enough I would feel fat I would feel like I had to lose more weight because I didn't look like the girls in my soccer team that were there longer or were older than me and looked skinnier than me and because of the things that my parents would say about like eating healthier made me think 
that I need to lose weight and that wasn't like that wasn't exactly the case and so after I graduated high school I stopped exercising because I wasn't in soccer I didn't care was that what I was eating I wasn't paying attention to what I was eating and I wasn't exercising and then quarantine came and we're not in we're inside our house all the time so it made me gain so much weight so quick I noticed it but I didn't really acknowledge it or I didn't really care. My parents would continue to be like, hey Allison, watch out what you eat and stuff like that. It continued to tear me down because in my mind, I was like, okay, I'm fat. One day I just like broke down and I was like, you telling me that constantly doesn't make me want to eat healthier. And I told them, and I know that I gained weight and I know that I need to eat healthy and I'm trying. They apologized and they were like, I'm sorry, that was never our intention. So it's not good to keep all those things and make sure you tell your family members if they hurt you in any kind of way, don't keep it all in because then you're just gonna explode. But they were right, they were right about me having to eat healthier, but in my mind, it wasn't that way so i would look at myself in the mirror and not like what i see and i would just cry and no like and they wouldn't know at all because i would just keep all of that in so and i wouldn't tell them the other causes of insecurity like i said social media the internet our society and standards and stuff like that really affect the way we see ourselves and i would compare myself a lot to the girls that i would see on instagram on tiktok especially i got into like really deep depression because of all the things i was seeing online and i needed a social media detox so a social media detox is really helpful i also ended up unfollowing all the girls on my social media that made me feel insecure when i looked at them and i would compare myself to them and nothing's wrong with them posting whatever they want they are beautiful they can show it off but it was me comparing myself to them caused me to have to unfollow them in order for me to love myself and see myself as I'm perfect just the way I am. I don't need to compare myself to those girls that I see online. I don't need to try to look like them. I need to be me. I need to be who God made me to be. I started following girls that looked like me, um, not to try to look like them in any kind of way, but just to um, get inspired by their confidence and the things that they would post um, online was body positivity and stuff like that and that really lifted me up. The third cause of insecurities is relationships and friendships. So you really need to be careful with the people that you surround yourself with. You need to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that will lift you up and not bring you down, that want to see you succeed, that want to get you to your goals. And relationship wise, dating wise, it kind of depends on your partner, you know what I mean? The person that you're dating. I was dating a person at the time that would constantly say comments about what I would be wearing. Comments here and there like, oh, why are you doing your hair like that? You should do it like this. Oh, why are you doing your makeup like that? I like it like this. Or they would make me feel like they were competing, compa blah. or they would make me feel like they were comparing me to, they were comparing my body to the bodies that they would see of women online. You should never settle and be with someone that makes you feel insecure in any kind of way. That is not a healthy relationship. Okay, so here are some of my tips on overcoming your insecurities. It takes time to fully learn how to love yourself and there's always going to be something that you're insecure about and that's totally okay. Number one is learn to love yourself. Number two is stop comparing yourself to others. And number three, do it for you. If you want to get up and start eating healthy and get up and go work out do it because you love yourself enough to go do it and i know those things sound easier said than done but it is hard to get that de determination it just takes time and it's totally okay to take your time it takes your effort to put in to yourself to learn to love your own company it takes that first step to just look at yourself in the mirror and, or wake up in the morning and just be like, I am beautiful and I love who I am. Some things that also helped me were to look at myself in the mirror, compliment my insecurities. Like, I'm really insecure about my arms or my nose or my stomach. Like, my stomach, I'm super insecure about my stomach. So I would be like, I love my nose. My nose is perfect just the way it is. I love my arms. My arms, I'm, I'm grateful to have my arms. I'm thankful to have my arms. Um, my arms are beautiful just the way they are. Yes, people can call you beautiful and can call you perfect and can call you all these amazing things, but 
if you don't believe it yourself then what they're saying doesn't mean anything okay so now we're going to be talking about body confidence we're so used to seeing ourselves in the mirror and seeing ourselves on camera and just seeing our face all the time and we don't we don't know how we look like in someone else's point of view we don't know how um if someone looks at us and they're like wow she's she's beautiful she's literally so pretty and when someone actually you know calls it beautiful they they really do mean it I, I hope you know that some things that helped me gain body confidence was posting pictures and posting full body pictures I used to not post full body pictures because I was so insecure of how I looked like I would put myself down all the time about small things like that and it's so sad because you shouldn't live your life worried about what other people think of you and most of the time people don't care but yeah post more pictures um, get dressed up look nice for yourself don't post the pictures for the likes or the comments but for yourself because you know that you look good you know that you like that outfit you know that you like that dress that you bought the other day um and you thought that it looked so good on you so you posted it post it for you don't post it for anybody else there's totally nothing wrong with being confident another tip for body confidence would be stop looking for validation in others learn to love yourself for you and then lastly just stop caring what other people think um stop living your life for others stop living your life to please others reach those goals for you not because people are watching and lastly identity the way i found my identity and like gained my self-confidence was through all of those things but most importantly through god and reading my bible just reminding myself who god created me to be and how god sees me in his eyes but yeah um if you're interested i'm going to put um bible verses down below so you guys can go read them if you want i'll put the title of the chapter and like the chapter and the verse so you guys can go find them on your own and read them on your own time if you want and i hope this video was helpful for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did make sure to like this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't subscribed already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys